I'm Caroline, and I'm an artist. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like creating different kinds of like characters of animals. I just really like painting animals and drawing animals. I grew up owning really weird exotic animals. Like my dad bred iguanas when I was little. Like I have a lizard, and I had a Chinese water dragon, and then I had an iguana older than me, and I took care of that when I was really little. So also it kind of influenced me to really love painting and drawing animals. The people around me influence on how I create it or my, the mood I'm feeling. And, like everything I doodle is just sometimes it's just a random animal with a different expression. And I just like adding different kinds of expressions to animals. When I start a drawing, I it's kind of a scribble that it like I'm really unorganized and I'm like it's surprising my room is actually clean and that's kind of reflects on my drawing. So back then I was very tedious and it took too long, but now I I'm really impatient. So I feel like it gets more work out of me if I work that way. So I just tell myself to just not think about it so much. If I start a piece, I need to really finish it quickly, otherwise I get a different idea if I start it. I have to have this impatient personality, I guess, in my art, otherwise it won't be finished. I know I will come back to it, but I'd rather have it finished. Plan like, I used to just do everything out of the whim, so planning on creating a background before the piece and like how it's going to look and what angle it's going to be, that was kind of difficult for me. I was so used to just doing it, but now I'm used to planning ahead and it helps a lot. I did this uh, tiger piece. Um, I read like, this one influenced me, I guess, differently from all the other ones because um, there's this famous tiger temple and it used to be you know, well known for rescuing tigers, but people have figured out that they've actually have been just breeding them and then selling them for their fur. Oh, shit. So I did like, it's like cutting its head open like a cloth. Oh, man. And then there's the beads That's in really the temple. Artists, they paint and they draw to like release feelings that they have going up, but that doesn't really work for me. I just like creating things and finishing them, and I feel good about finishing them. So I guess being an artist is just making, creating something new. I don't know. It's just something I, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, like I don't feel sad, but I also don't feel happy when I'm painting. But a lot of artists they paint because they feel happy, because they feel sad. Um, I just do it for the sake of creating something new and but finishing it. I've been drawing and paint, or not painting, but drawing since I was little. Um, I mean, a lot of people have, it's just who sticks with it. And I just keep doing it because it's basically the only thing I really know that I can do.